Async AI agents run AI at the speed of thought. Transform your AI workflow. Process thousands of AI tasks while you sleep. Near to zero code changes to make any AI task async. 10 times faster than traditional AI implementations. Imagine waking up tomorrow. All your AI tasks processed automatically. Zero API timeouts or rate limits errors. Your application running at peak efficiency. Previously, it was complex error handling, manual rate limiting, and blocking API calls. But now, automatic retry handling, smart queue management, and non-blocking operations. Just three simple steps to get started. First, pip install, then create your first agent, and then run toss asynchronously. First, we need to know what is asynchronous execution pattern. Imagine you got three different tasks for an AI agent. If you are executing it sequentially using synchronous execution, it will wait for the previous task to complete to start the next task. But many of the instances, we can run all these tasks parallelly. By implementing asynchronous, you can see the searches are happening parallelly and then pass to the final summarizing agent. You can see the performance impact using traditional 10 tasks completed in the time limit and using asynchronous his 100 tasks processed in 20% of the time. In this, we'll be creating a search tool, create an asynchronous search agent, searching for multiple search queries in parallel and the final summary agent going to summarize all the results. Here is the process flow. So multiple searches done parallelly using the async search agent then it goes to the summary agent. As a result, we are efficiently processing or utilizing our agents. This is also defined in building efficient agents from Anthropic. It's called workflow parallelization, where the input is processed parallelly and the aggregator will process those results and give us that output. Now we are going to implement this. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can create tools, agents, tasks, and start agents and run these asynchronously. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. And we are going to use Prezen AI Agents Framework. It is one of the popular framework, nearly to 200,000 downloads and more number of stars. It has both no code and code solution. And getting started is very easy. First, let's open our terminal. In the terminal, pip install Prezen AI and DuckDuckGo search. Prezen AI is the main package. DuckDuckGo search is for searching the internet. After this, click enter. Now export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. You can generate this OpenAI API key from platform.openai.com. And we are going to use GPT-40. You can also use other open source models, which I have mentioned that in the documentation. So in this case, after typing this, click enter. Next, let's create a file called app.py and let's open that file in a code editor of your choice. Inside that, Import async io, that is the main async Python package required to run any async application. So after that, importing list, agent task, praising agents, task output, DuckDuckGo search, Pydantic base model. So first step, creating tools, that is a search tool. And we are going to make that as an async search tool. So step number one, define async tool. So we are just mentioning the structure of the response from the tool. So basically we are returning the query, the results, and the total results. Next, create a function called async search tool. Here, we are just defining DuckDuckGo search class. Based on the query, it's going to search the internet and return five results. And this is the only bit of code that is executing the search. I'm just adding this to check if any error happens, but this is optional for beginners. So I'll put all the code in the description below so you are able to copy this and run it on your computer. So creating a tool for agent is just as simple as creating a function. That's it with the parameter and the document string. Now, step number two, creating agents. So we are going to have two different agents. One is async search agent, going to search parallelly and then summary agent. So coming back to my code, step number two is creating agents. First is asynchronous search agent, mentioning the role, search specialist, the goal and the backstory. Here I'm defining the tool that is async search tool. Very easy to create an agent. Next, summary agent. Same as before, the role, research synthesizer, goal, and the backstory. Now, step number three, creating tasks. Coming back to my code again. Number three, create tasks. So first is the async task. 
and assigned to the async agent. And this is where I'm providing how the output from this task should look like. So we're defining the search result. And when I go to the top, here we got the class search result. So that task will return three different things. One is query, the results, and the total results. Next, I'm going to create a function to run all these tasks parallelly, just adding the print statement just for our reference. Next, I'm going to search for multiple terms, search topics. So three different searches are going to be run parallelly. One is latest AI developments, machine learning, and neural networks. Now I'm going to loop through all these three topics. Just going to define this parallel task as a list, and this will automatically add this each search term in this topic area. So search for latest AI developments, search for machine learning, search for neural networks. You can have 100 search terms like this, and this agent will be able to execute the task in parallel, as long as there is no limitation in DuckDuckGo and also your computer performance. So next, we need to create the summary task. So create summarization task, and here is the task. And previously, if you see the async execution is true for parallel task, for summary task, async execution is false. So this will wait until this task get completed, then the summary task will run. Now step number four, start these agents after putting it all together. So that is step number four, start agents. Now defining AI agents, and here we are mentioning the list of agents, the list of tasks, and the process sequential. Now to run it, just await agents.a start. So that's how you start asynchronous agents. Now we need to return all the response. And I'm returning in more detailed manner, but it's not required if you want a simple response. So now the fifth step, this is the additional step, but it's a small step to run the whole function. I'm going to define the main function like this and calling the run parallel task. So that is the function which we created earlier here, run parallel tasks. So that's what we are calling here, run parallel task. And at the bottom, just using the async IO package to run this main function. So this is a little extra bit of code, but you don't need to worry about this. Literally, this is only two lines of code. One is calling the run parallel task and then async io.run. Apart from that, everything else is similar to our previous approach. So as a quick summary, first we define the async tool using async before the function. Next, we created agents. Next, we created the async task and the summarization task. And finally, putting it all together and running the agents. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python app.py and then click enter. Now it's starting async AI agents examples, running parallel async tasks. Now you can see the three tasks ran parallelly, and then that output is sent to the summary agent with all these search results. And finally, the summary agent is writing about AI developments in 2024, machine learning, and neural networks, and all the tasks completed. As simple as that. Now you are able to run AI agents parallelly and make it more efficient, saving your time. And I'm really excited about this. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like praising AI agents, I also created another video which explains clearly about self-reflection AI agents, which I'll put the link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.